eye leopard. Can I just want to see how you look like, please? Please don't kill me. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Great Circle. Look at this view. Let me just. I need a sippy. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So I'm sitting here with my cup of coffee, and I'm just looking out on this this beautiful scenery, and it does change. It's um, I saw zebras walking past, and there's like a couple of cranes now, and elephants at the back. Oh, hear the sounds? Oh, I love this. This is wonderful. Anyway, so um, the Great Circle had a update. It's a performance patch boost, um, and all sorts of wonderful things. We are still on the giraffe one. There we go. It's still early in the morning. <gasps> Guys, there's huts there. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so with the last one, um, I was... Oh, that's sunrise. This game sunrise always gets me. There's also buildings there. Is that correct? I think so. Was it a rock? I don't know, but we're going to check it out. But let's do the huts first. Um, so in the comments... Um, TJ, who is the developer, actually commented on my video and in the video I asked whether or not if I run a lot um, and it's not during the day, does that affect my metabolism? And yes, it is confirmed. The more you are active, um, the faster your metabolism goes and the faster your, your thirst and your hunger goes down. Um, let's just see. So I'm just looking at my FPS. It's not dipping into the red anymore, and it's beautiful. It stays in the 40s. Oh, there's a 25, 32. Spoke too soon. But it's much nicer and much steadier than the previous one, so that's cool. Um, anyway, so yes, uh, you need to choose between are you going to walk a lot, and then your metabolism gets increased, um, and then you lose hunger or thirst faster or are you going to rest and do like a, a massive migration to another spot or area um, then you also have to think about shelter and that type of thing um, you know normal animals that want to hurt and kill you near the watering hole and all that jazz so it's quite intricate your thirst and hunger balance also your uh, fat reserves and your stomach and all that I really like the fat reserves, so you can stay in an area and then you eat a lot and then get your fat reserves up and running and then decide, okay, now it's time for a massive migration through the area. Then also, I think that is the story mode, uh, story mode area. We had a um, quite a bit of lag in the story, in the uh, let's just call it a building area for now, um, in the building area in the last episode. So um, TJ actually said that that was the... Uh, story mode area and that wasn't fully developed yet and that's because um, and that's why there was like a whole you know a whole bunch of lag but it feels much better I'm just still watching around for lions and things um, this game has me on edge <laughs> also I'm quite interested in this whole story thing okay now my FPS dipped a bit I think that's like a little bit of a load in um, I'm kind of interested on the whole storyline, how it's going to work. Also, TJ confirmed that it is going to mostly be a single player game, um, but there will be a multiplayer a mode, but it's going to be focused single player. For those of you who want to know, which I'm not mad about. We don't have a lot of single player um, animal survival type games at the moment. Everybody is hopping onto the, the bandwagon of everything must be multiplayer, no story really, just go and do your own thing. Can somebody just please confirm what skull is that? Um, so I was just wondering if it's going to be like a one size fits all type of quest for all the animals, or is it going to be split up between herbivore and um, carnivore, or will every single animal have its own um, you know, unique type quest thing? Uh, which I think is going to be quite difficult to implement, so it could be between flying and land based animals, and then maybe split between. Um, you know, carnivore and herbivore. So let's see. Oh, I like these huts. Actually, stayed in a few of like huts that actually look like this. Surprisingly, very cool. <laughs> Looks like a little giraffe has found a safe spot. Um, metabolism is fast because I have been walking around, and we are a male this time. I always get females. And it's summer, clear skies. 
awake and I'm awake and I'm sheltered. That's beautiful. So we can take shelter in these huts um, for when it rains. Also, that the FPS in the hut is really, really cool. <laughs> it's like, I hit a 60 FPS there. Let's go check on the big one. Oh, that's one. This one has got a floor. Really nice huts. I'm loving this. Really pretty huts. Nice texture. I really do like this. It looks like some pieces are still a little bit wet. That there was like maybe rain damage or something. Really, really nice. And I just heard something. I don't know what it is. There's a guinea fowl. I love a guinea fowl. I really do. I actually do like them. They're very fun little birds. Also, there's a, a guinea fowl on the roof. That is typical guinea fowl. <laughs> Let's go check out the big building. Really big building. Oh man, I'm hyped for the story. I wonder what's going on here. Do we? And then also playing a human. There's there's two things that I want to do. I want to play as a carnivore, so that I just can eat anything, and then just get a glimpse of the human. That's that's the two things that I want to. Like maybe just have a glimpse at. I'm very excited for it. I'm super hyped for this game. So yeah. Okay, so I just saw something new. There's a claimed. Yeah, what is what does that mean? I have my HUD off, so if you press H, you can actually remove HUD. You'll go into like a cinematic mode, or one. There, there we go. Now what is that? Claimed. Please explain. Is that a that's a warthog skull? Yep, and some sort of pig skull. Um, okay, so let's just check. I know that he also fixed um, the amount of animals that spawned in the watering hole because it was quite, it was quite hectic. Okay, cool. So there's not a lot of animals here. I can see you. I can see you, sneakies. The otters are still there. Look how sneaky they are. I think there's someone else or something else. Oh, it's a frog. Goodness. Okay. I can't wait to play a hippo. I'll just lazy around all day. I love that sound. The most dangerous animal in Africa. <gasps> Look at this water splashies. I I really appreciate a good water splashy. You also a little guinea fowl. How do I get the? There we go. Water splashies. A little crane. Really pretty crane. And then the otter. Oh, look at cute the otter. My little Oh no 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 no. No. Don't you dare. I just arrived, you will not eat me. What is this claimed? I would like to live past day one. That'll be amazing. Um Hippo, your aggro range is really you know what the funny thing is, is that hippos are actually very aggro. <laughs> so this is this could be quite accurate. <laughs> Ecosystem unbalanced. Hmm. I wonder what that means. Why is this e ecosystem unbalanced? Okay, so um, I will probably need to sleep in a second. Um, last time when I slept, there were these, uh, what do you call it, dragonflies buzzing around me, and that lagged me so badly. So I think I'm going to see if I can sleep. Let me just check. Oh, cool. So he did remove the, the little buzzing from the animals. Nice. Okay, that's nice. And it doesn't lag while I sleep. Cool. Head still moves while I sleep. It's a bit weird, but still, it's fine. Um, I can deal Nice. I'm not lagging when I'm sleeping. This is really, really good. Thank you. Okay, so what I found is I can't wake myself up once I'm sleeping. Which is a little bit of a scary situation for me to be in. Because I'm not sure what's out there and what wants to eat me. So I can't get up easily. And I'm pressing everything, including C, to wake up the giraffe. But it's not letting me. Um, so let's just see if it wakes up by itself. It should. 
and fully rested. Okay, so it gets it by itself. Um, it's a little scary. It still does a slidey thing, but fine. Um, yeah, that that's a little scary. <laughs> Sleeping and you can't quickly get up and run away from from predators. Did I just hear leopard? Oh, so this music startled me. There's leopards there. I'm tempted to. It's a level eight leopard. I'm tempted to have a look and see how they look like. But I'm gonna die. I've got. A f I'm, I have a feeling I'm gonna die. Let me just get my stamina. Hi, leopard. Can I just want to see how you look like, please? Please don't kill me. Oh my goodness. He is so pretty. Look at that. Look at the fur texture. Oh, that is very nice. I know a few people that would love to play leopard. That is so nice. Bird walking in the water. That's very funny. Drink. It does do the splitties. Look how cute. Let me just hide my hood. Come on now. Hide it. I want to I wanna photo of this before I die. <laughs> Great. I'm trying to take a photo of a guinea fowl. That's, that's funny. Very funny. Um, so yeah, so if you like this, please comment, share, and subscribe. And I've got uh, the Great Circles details at the bottom in the description below. Okay, look how... Sorry. Almost went over to um, Afrikaans there for a second. Look how cute the birds are on this rhino. Look how cute they are. My goodness. It's so funny. I like it so much. It's so cool. Okay, guys, if you like this, please comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye! I found a thing. Sorry. I found a thing before we go. <laughs> Hi cameras. How you doing? <laughs>